So uh, what I wanted to try for a while is this Chrome UX report API. And um, I found this example in the getting started part, um, how to do it with JavaScript. And um, here described is, uh, it looks like a method how to generate this report. So it's a JavaScript plus an HTML plus some CSS. But I wanted to try it in Node.js. So let's see if we get this JavaScript code running in Node.js. And um, let's see if we can access and uh, the Chrome UX report API data. So the web, web vitals data um, with this uh, guide here. Okay, so um, I will start with um, checking out the original code and it looks like you need an API key, but I will copy paste this one into uh, an already prepared uh, JavaScript file. And um, I have also already prepared the API key, which is easy to get by clicking here, get a key. You get here the key and I already did that and I will copy paste my key in here. And uh, let's check out the code, what we have here. So this seems to be the request. And the whole thing starts here. And this already seems to be some output stuff which I don't want because I just want to access uh, the data, the API with Node.js. So I think we can delete that. And then probably uh, this function, description and bars, I don't need either. So yeah, it looks pretty small now, the code. Uh, I don't know, don't need this. Let's see if we this already works. No. So fetch is not defined. Mm. Let's see, maybe there's some option in Node.js. Fetch is not defined. Let's see what they write here. No, no, no. Ah, of course, there is some thing to some package to make it possible. So let's try this one. And import this and now try it. Let's try again. Yeah, there is something. Let's see if we can access the first contentful pane, for example. Should be in this output. Uh, no, not first. Yeah, first, con first contentful pane is not the super important KPI anymore. Let's try this one. So, uh, Yeah, there is some data and for another domain, maybe. Yeah, there's some other data. Cool. So this was pretty fast and um, now I have the data and now let's see what we can do with this uh, data in another video. But uh, we made it to run it in Node.js until here. And uh, so, bye.